So some vocabulary you may or may not be familiar with is synchronous and asynchronous learning. So when we talk about online learning, a lot of people have it in their mind what they think an online class is, that it's a certain way, and that's absolutely false. The only thing that makes an online class is that it's online, and there's a lot of different pedagogical methods of how to do that. Uh, some people think that all online learning is asynchronous, meaning independent study, do it whenever you want to. Um, that is definitely one model that some of them do. The doctoral program that I am in is all asynchronous learning. Um, but that's not the way it was for my online master's degree, which had a lot of synchronous learning. We had to meet together every week in a video chat. Um, and there's other things that we had to do at the same time. So for this course, our online sessions are synchronous which means you cannot opt to do them later. We have certain tasks that we ask you to do during the class time, and then we'll close them down, and you cannot do them outside of class. Also, we're asking you to interact maybe through Twitter or the Google Plus community, and if you're doing it at different times of the day, you don't really get the interaction, so it needs to be synchronous. So please sign in on time on a virtual class. Sign in on time. And you're going to leave on, you know, you got your three hours, just like a regular class. And we have things for you to do during those three hours. The only difference is your butt's not sitting in the Kremen Building classroom that we're assigned. You might be upstairs in 420. Um, but you're still in class. You're just in class digitally. It's going to be at the same time.